on how well your children act in public, how well your children do in school, how well they grow up to make good choices. Um, it's not to say that they don't ever make bad choices. It just means that if they make more good than bad, then I measure my success by that. First time she went to preschool and she just was so proud to be there that she didn't even cry. She just, bye mom, see when you come back, give me. You know, because she had been talking and, and reading um, since she was three. So, you know, she was excited to go to school. That was one of my best moments. And then recently she was in the talent show for school. And she, I was very, very proud of her. She got up, she sang, she danced, and she did a really great job. I think the best change that I noticed and the biggest change would be patience. You know, when you have friends that have children and you're watching them and you're not a parent, it's far different when you have children and watch other children or even your own. Your patient level is extremely different. So that is one big change that happens, will happen for me. I didn't have a very good mom. So I always grew up knowing that I would be a good mom. So I pride myself on, I'm not a perfect mom, but I do make sure that all the things that I ever wanted in life, I get out of being a mom. So I make sure that my daughter has everything I never had that I wanted. And then I sit down and I talk to my daughter and ask her if there's things about me that she doesn't like. And then we talk about things about her attitude or things that she's done and then we, we make an agreement to each other to work on those together. I'm a single mother. And there's no challenge like being a single mom. I want her to know how to survive. I want her to know that um, no matter what challenges come her way, she can survive. She can overcome them. She can be better than them. I try to teach her, um, her body is hers and her mind is hers and nobody can control it and nobody can overcome it without her permission. And, and if somebody does try or succeed, you beat them by surviving and moving on and living your life just as you would if it didn't happen. Well, I think every parent's hope is that their children grow up to be good things. And it doesn't really matter what they are as long as they live right and they, they have love and they are able to love. I want her to grow up and have experiences. And not all of them are going to be good, but I want her to learn from them and, and grow from them. It's not a job, it's a choice. And when you make the choice to be a parent, then you have made your choice. But being a mom, you have made the choice to give up a, a great many things, especially if you are going to be a single mom. You, you made that choice, so it's time for you to grow up and make, be that choice. It's no longer about you, it's about your children and what you can provide to them and give them and show them and help them grow. Being a mom is a gift. It's, it's a love that nobody could ever explain to somebody. 
the feeling of looking at your child and watching them grow in every point of their life is so much love that that could fill mountains. I think people take for granted mothers and what it is they actually do because you could be 30 and we're still worrying about you.